Well, hello there. I'm trying to work on getting my Cajun accent back. So before I get into this series, I kind of want to give y'all like a fun little behind the scenes peek of the timeline that I'm doing. If I planned everything out right, which I'm pretty sure I did, uh, you're seeing this episode, this first episode of Subnautica, the same week uh, that I started the Total War series, right? So Total War episode one is out, then episode one of Subnautica is out, and then if I timed it right, come Friday, the next episode of whatever I planned is coming out, the first episode of whatever I planned is coming out. What? In reality, I'm editing this episode uh, just after beginning work on the 10th episode of Total War. Just started editing that one. I just released today the pothole short. So you can scroll all the way back into my shorts and see where the pothole is. So you can see how long I've been working on all of this. Either way, Subnautica. I wanted I wanted to do Subnautica for a couple of reasons. One, I haven't played it in a while. And two, there was just an announcement not too long ago that the devs are bringing out a new Subnautica. It's, I guess it's supposed to be Subnautica 3. I don't know if it's gonna be the continuation of the story. Don't know much about it at this point for me, but what we do know, it's gonna be multiplayer. It's gonna be co-op, which is going to be awesome. And it got me really hyped to wanting to play some Nautica again. And it made me really want to sit down and just try and see if I could do a, if I can still do a whole hardcore run through of some Nautica. So that's what this series is. It's a hardcore run through of the first Subnautica. This one's already recorded, just like all of uh, Total War from start to finish. This one's completely recorded. It's going to drop on a weekly basis, just like everything else. And I hope you all enjoy it. And I shall see you all in the next series i guess shit because y'all not gonna see me Okay, get up. Everything's on fire. This music is way too badass for the fire. Like, there's way too many memes about just dying because the freaking music for the fire. Out, 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 out. Okay. Oh, that was. Uh, okay. I forgot about this. Yes, I understand. A life on an alien world. Please refer to the data lab for detailed survival advice. <sighs> Stop talking to me. Get get this out of my hand. Where where did I spawn? I'm like at the far back of the Aurora. God, where where exactly am I? Okay, I'm not in a bad spot. Not too bad. They're not directly underneath me. Wait a minute. Oh, am I over the big? I am. So this tunnel here. This is actually a tunnel. Got a lot of glass and stuff in it. It's actually, I'm not mad at starting right here. Where does it, where's the other end of it? I'm playing on hardcore, so I gotta be extra careful. Not to run into one of these, although I need that. So let me get up here. Ow, faster. I'll just go ahead and take that sulfur off of you. This might be worse. I need a knife, I need to get rid of that. Because I might end up going under there for a lot of stuff later. Alright, get some titanium. Hopefully there's copper in this. Nope, just titanium. I'll go grab this piece that I saw over here because we need to make... Um, we need to make a scanner. We need to make a couple of things real quick. Your probability of survival has just increased to unlikely, but plausible. Okay, yeah, there's the... That's weird, though. I've never seen the tunnel in another tunnel before. 
I've never seen that before. Is this... I've never actually paid attention to the map like that. Does the map actually change every game? I don't know. Either way. We got titanium. We can get started with the basic stuff that we need. I need to make a knife, actually. Should have went out and grabbed some damn rubber. Uh, make all that. Let's get titanium. Okay. So, first off, we can make a tank. It's one of the things we need. We also need to make fins so we can swim a little faster. That'd be nice. If I can find some silver, we can actually make the upgraded tank pretty quickly. Alright, I need to get a scanner, I need to get a knife, and I need to get a flashlight. Those are the three I'm worried about right now. I'm not too worried about the repair tool. Because I'm not too worried about messages right now. Let's see. The only thing I'm really missing with the repair tool, uh, with not repairing this, is getting more of these. But, as long as I'm careful, I won't need those as much, so it's still, it won't be a priority to build that repair tool for a while. Alright, so first thing I want to do is find the kelp forest, which off of you, it's out this way somewhere. So might as well collect some fish while I'm at it. Come here. Alien life forms may have unexpected Another big tube. Utilizing alien resources is a proven survival strategy. I honestly don't remember there being multiple big ass tubes in the safe shallows. This might be the one I was originally thinking of, and that other one might be one that I've never seen before, honestly. Ah, here we go. Here's the, all the kelp I'm looking for. We also need to pick up some of these. Let's see if we can get lucky with more. Yep, copper. Nice. Pick up the copper. Pick it up. Ah, brain coral. Oi, give me air, please. Thank you. Thank you. What happened to the third bubble? Excuse me. Air. Okay, got it. Got it. Got it. All right, I got all three. I don't know what happened to the third bubble. Life on this planet grows in unusually distinct and diverse ecological biomes. You. Further give me you. study give me you. recommended. Let's go with two for now. And is that salt? It is. General rule when you're first starting this game. Don't pass up salt. Because you can make bleach, which allows you to make two water bottles. Any more copper? No, titanium. I'm actually going to pass up right now because of how much we're actually picking up the uh, steel. The wreckage stuff. I'm actually going to pass up loose titanium if I break it open. I'm not going to pick it up. Fish, 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 fish. I usually can't catch these because I don't have the fins. Yeah, I'm not going to be able to catch a damn peeper right now. If I can catch you, I can catch you. Come here. God, I'm having to learn how to aim with controller again. I've been playing on a mouse for so long. It really does mess you up coming uh, back to your controller from my, uh, mouse and key. It's getting dark. Grab a couple more of these because I want to make a flashlight if we can. Oh wait, I'm going to need glass to make a flashlight, aren't I? I don't remember. Which would mean I need to make a trip in there, which means I think I want to get my flippers first. Let me in. Okay, make a battery. Make another battery. And make another battery. Because right now I just need the battery equipment, so it's more important at the moment. Get some water. And cook the fish that we have. It's really not going to be enough, but for now... It gets us going. Okay, so that gives us a knife. Oh, look at that, we can actually make the repair tool now. So I guess we might as well. Life remains the only yeah, we're good. We can make all three of these. Cordalian biological data. Okay, well. The main reason why I wasn't too concerned about this is because depending on where you start Oh, it's dark. It's usually a pain in the ass for me to find sulfur. But... Flashlight. Flashlight. 
Yeah, we do need glass. This is gonna be a pain in the ass. Can't see a damn thing. I mean, I can, but it's annoying. I haven't even found boxes yet, actually. Probably just need to head a little closer to the core. I mean, to the Aurora, not the core itself, but not via you guys. Shut up. Oh, wait, table coral. Chop you up. I didn't make my damn flippers. That's why I feel so damn slow. Come here. Come here. You got it. You got it. Haha, <laughs> peeper swam right into me. Okay, yeah, there we go. Got my fins. The fabricated. Okay, for now, we'll put all this up. Is the sun coming up yet? No, of course not. We have fins, and I can definitely feel the speed difference. Holy shit. Two things I want to do. I need to find silver, and I need to find glass. And I can kind of find them in, this, in similar areas. But I need both, so that means one, I can make a flashlight, and uh... I forgot what I need the silver for. I think it's for the other tank? I don't remember. Yeah, I think it is for the other tank. But we also need to keep an eye out for other boxes. God, I'm playing this impractical, full, complete darkness in my room just so that way I can see what the hell I'm doing. You know what? It's not worth. I'm at least put the gamma up to 20. Once I get a flashlight, I'll turn the gamma back down, but... Like, just so I can get an outline, this is better. Alright, so this is why I need one of these tunnels. Because we just saw some quartz in here, so we can make some glass. Which is important for the flashlight I want to make. I didn't know they glow. Huh. Or is that the actual acid mushrooms glowing? I don't remember them glowing. It's been like three years since I played the game, to be honest. So I don't know exactly how much has changed. Yeah, this wasn't the tunnel I was thinking of because it's a lot longer. Ah, I picked that up. I took a screenshot. I need to change my controls around. Get out of my inventory. I'm not going to pass these up. You're actually blinding me. Your eye is actually so damn bright, it's blinding me. No, this is the tunnel I was thinking of because of that hole. Alright, I need air. Sun's coming up. So the game is about to look even weirder. I don't understand why they didn't just give us a straight up brightness control. Why we gotta do it through gamma alone? That's annoying. Oi, do you have any copper? I missed. You do. What about you? Copper? Nope. Not picking that up. Copper? Nope. Not picking that up. Legit, I'm kind of worried about the fact that I haven't seen a box yet. Like, the fact that I haven't seen a single box out here. I guess my- oh, hey, I caught a bubble. I guess I might have to go swim close to the Aurora to find those. And let's at least go get a flashlight made. So that way the game doesn't look as weird as it does. I don't know, actually, it's not as bad. The game is- doesn't look as bad during the day. It actually looks worse during the night. No, I'm gonna make three pieces of glass, because I think I need two for the other tank. Make a flat I mean, a flashlight. Look, you get lonely out here, that's all I'm saying. Because I don't know how much- Really? This is my first time going out this? Really? Move. Uh, sign. I- Wow. Okay, so my assign- My assigned quick slot is also a screenshot. Why did I do that? Why did I do that to myself? I'll fix it eventually, probably not. I am not going any further that way because- I, I've said it a bunch of times. Um, that Leviathan back there makes no noise for me. Like, actually, I'm pretty sure you're supposed to s start hearing it, like, midway through this forest. Ah, box. Does not make noise for me. I don't know when it's actually hunting me. I don't really need this right now, but, I mean, it's good to find. It's good to find now. Need two more of those. But we are finding boxes, which is what I need. I scan you, you give me air. That, that's how this works. I can't scan the bubbles. Boxes, boxes. I'll grab one of these just in case. Uh, for those who have played the game a lot, because I don't quite remember. Uh, well, actually, it won't even matter asking y'all because the series will be done by the time you see this episode. So never mind. I'll find out if I have to scan something for it to show up in the scanner room later. Pretty sure it does, or I need to pick it up once. 
But you can answer that question for anybody in the comments. I d it just won't matter for me because by the time you see it, I'll have already answered it or completely forgot about it. That, that That's also a thing. Dude, seriously, where are the boxes around here? How far out am I going? I'm not even... Ha oh, I'm going the complete wrong way. Ah, look, yeah, see? There we go. This is what I'm looking for. Hey, you stay over there. Go away. Stay over there. Go, go play over there. Stop laughing. Nothing's funny. There we go. Another box. This is what we need. This is what we need. New blueprint acquired. All right, I see Glide's going to make things a lot faster. It's going to expedite a lot of what I need to do. So we have that. So the next big thing I definitely need is silver. We have the flashlights. I need to remember how to get to the, uh, I forgot what it's called, but the red grass area. It's normally where I set up my base anyways, my first base. Because Actually, that's just where I set up my base when I, for when I'm up here, period. When we go deeper, that's, of course, when I make the other base. I only really make two bases, one here and one... Uh, just before the lava zone. That one area right past the ghost tree. Where, you know, where it's really wide open and then you're going down that path to go into the lava area. Yeah, that's where I make my other tree. My other, my other tree? My other base. So, lubricant, copper wire, and titanium. Yeah, I figured it was going to be a bit of a pain in the ass. Uh, okay, copper wire. It's going to be harder to get than the damn lubricant. Knock knock. Copper. Is it gonna make me a liar? It's either gonna make me look like a damn liar or is it gonna uh, actually be the hardest thing in this game to ever find? Survey says. Okay, yeah, make me look like a damn liar. Like it normally is a pain in the ass to find, right? But we got the copper wire that we'll need. Please, sir, can I have some lube? Excuse you. Okay, I'll take two pieces off of you. And a two piece. And two pieces off of you. One thing I need to remember too, I mean it's a long ways away, but before we go down, I need to grab a bunch of these so that way I can plant them down below. Oh, this is gonna be the last time I actually have to friggin' swim. Like with with just my legs. Sea glide time. And we have the sea glide will increase your effective exploration range for your safety please pack supplies for long journeys and stay within Make some five fiber mesh of the nearest life pod or habitat Make some extra lubricant because just can never have enough lubricant okay so yeah we need the silver ore oh i just need two yeah so i already got the two pieces of glass and while I'm thinking of it, that repaired. This is alarm. The stress signal is on. Rescue operation will be dispatched to your location in nine, 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 nine hours. Continue to monitor for emergency transmissions from Pretty sure we're out this way. Pretty sure the grasslands are one around this way. Right. Off the side of a... Yeah, it's like off the side of the Aurora. This f this light on this thing is just horrible, dude. I also have to watch the 100 meter depth. Two, one, two, ten, nine, eight, seven, There's a six, bunch of Leviathans five, around here. I'm gonna be careful. I can die really easily. What the hell, guys? They didn't want us. This might happen. 